Well, it may be March, but it looks like Christmas on stage for the Appalachian Ballet Company. That's the infamous snow scene and the flower scene from the Nutcracker. Emily DeVoe explains why they are bringing their beloved Nutcracker performance to the big screen. It's been a holiday tradition for years, 50 to be exact. And I've been involved with the company for 48 years, and I'm teaching grandchildren of dancers that I were, was with, you know, years and years ago. The Appalachian Ballet Company's rendition of The Nutcracker is usually performed in December. Normally, it's a nine to ten week process, so going into five months is... <laughs> A bit tedious. This year, dancers took the stage in March with a film crew replacing the audience. Doing the movie really put a magnifying glass on our sets, our scenery, our cost. You know, our costumes are so lavish and beautiful that you really miss a lot of the details from being out in the audience. You see it sparkle, but you don't see all of the beautiful handwork and um, the jewels, that kind of thing. So we really looked at everything closely. To commemorate 50 years, the dance company is releasing a documentary tracing the holiday classic back to their first performance. I have four high school seniors this year and for them to miss out on their, you know, their spring show, their final Nutcracker. Um, but I would say, look, you're going to be in the documentary forever and forever. So they got something special that other dancers in the past have not been able to have. So, um, so that's, that's been fun. Putting the performance on video also puts it in a new perspective, even for people who've gone to the Nutcracker every year. I was able to really guide the cameraman. This is where I want your eye to focus. And when you're in a theater with an audience, they, they can pick and choose what they are seeing on the, on the stage. But I was able to really hone in and say, I want this little pink mouse in your vision during this part of the music. So um, that was kind of fun. And while it wasn't the Nutcracker performance they're used to, it's one they hope will last for years to come. I'm Emily DeVoe reporting. The Appalachian Ballet Company plans to release the documentary in August. They're hopeful to once again be doing live performances by December for the next Nutcracker season. Getting near and dear to your heart over there. Oh, I've, I've doing danced the it for what? Years. The what? The what is it? The thing? Choreography. I, I no, no. Dance. When you get on the tippy toes, what? What is that? On point. On point there.